Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Squid Nugget here, and today I have something a little bit different for you. So, today, I bought my new Oculus Rift S, and I am going to show you the contents and how to set it up. And so, let's dive right into it. So, to start off, we have the box, okay? It's PC required, just so you know. Inside the box is a VR set. Two touch controllers, double batteries, 5 meter headset cable, mini display port to display port adapter. On the side, there's black. On the back, we have all this information. We have high performance PC gaming, superior graphics, and precision tracking using the new Insight system. And we have designed with Lenovo. So, we have this. We have a little handle here. And now what we're going to do is slide this off right here. So, once we do that, we just have a box with the Oculus logo. On the back and side, there's not much except that down there. And now, we're going to put it on the table. So, instead of opening it from down here, we're going to open it from the top. It's got a little bit of a one of these going on, so you got to get under it. And then once you do that, you just kind of open it up. And here we have the contents of inside. So, first of all, we have our controller, which is very nice and light, and lighter than the original. I never had one, but my friend did. We've got another one. Of course, you got to have two. And then we have the headset itself. Very beautiful indeed. I'm not going to remove that yet. We also have this nice box of things. So... Let's see what we have inside this next box of things. So, we're going to open it. So, we have some nice AA batteries for our remote. And on the inside, we have a quick start guide. Some other information. We also have this mini display port to display port adapter, just in case you... Uh, don't have a regular display port on your PC. This is for a laptop or something. This is a quick start guide, and this is a surprisingly large booklet that I'm probably never going to read. So anyway, we're going to take out our headset. And here it is. In full. So of course we have this nice halo strap, popular among new headsets. We have one, two, three, four, five different cameras for our Rift S, part of the Insight tracking system. And of course, there are no little lighthouses. That means we can just set this up, plug it into our PC, and we're good to go. So what's also here, in the back, we have a USB 3, if it'll focus. And that's also a display port adapter. Alright guys, so from here, we're actually going to want to head over to our web browser. In this case, I have Google Chrome. And we are going to want to head to the Oculus Store. We're going to type in oculus.com slash setup. And here we are. So now we're going to want to scroll down, and of course, right here... Oculus Rift F, download and install VR software to a wide range of desktops and laptops. We're going to download this, and there it is right now. So, once it's finished downloading, we want to put it onto our desktop in whatever way you'd like. Just like that. This can go back down here. And, of course, we're going to run it. We'll probably get a notification such as this. I'm going to click yes, of course. Waiting. And here we are. Welcome to Oculus. So, of course, we're English. So, we're going to get started. Make sure you're connected to the internet. Very, very important. Get started. View terms and conditions. No one ever cares about these. Needs 13.2 gigabytes of space, so 
I am actually going to install it on my C drive. That's a good idea. We're going to install now. Okay, so now once that's done installing, it'll say installed, and it's time for us to make an account. So it's just loading. Now, what's going to happen is I am going to create a new account. So once you've created an account, you should have a confirmation email with a link sent to your email, of course. And once you have clicked the link, then you may continue. So here you can select whatever you want so uh... this fox looks pretty cool to me so i'm going to use it and i can always change my picture later i'll probably upload something else i don't know and of course you can change stuff from here of course you can enter friends and you can communicate with them So. If you want to download a VR game, then this is where it will most likely be, on your primary hard drive or SSD. So I'm actually going to change my location so it is somewhere else. So I just made a new folder very quickly called Oculus for all my games in my primary, well, not my primary, but my hard drive instead. That's where I keep all my games. So I'm going to continue. And I'm going to skip this for now because I don't actually have a credit card. I'm going to set up a PIN, which is any four-digit number. And once I have done so, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to select my headset. In this case, it's my Rift S. Now is the time to connect my headset. So once we are back in the real world, we are going to take our headset and there's our cable. I'm just going to put it here for now. I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to take my cable. And we're going to unravel it, of course. And once we have done that, I'm going to take it over to the back of my computer and to plug in all my ports. So this is very simple, which is very much what the Oculus Rift S is going for. All you need is a display port and a USB port. So I already have one freed up right over here. So I'm going to plug that in there. Right back here, my USB port. Just like that. And then I also have a display port for my graphics card, which in this case is right over here somewhere. So I'm going to plug that in. Oh, I'm going to plug that in. If I can. go and once you're done with that this should pop up on your screen and I'm going to meet you back in the virtual world okay so from here we're going to continue of course and update the firmware because every headset needs some sort of update from out of the box <laughs> Once your headset has been updated, we are going to click continue. And sorry, that's just someone else. And we are going to continue again with our headset sensor check. It has been done. So now we are going to go back into the real world once again to go to our controllers. So like I said before, this little package right here comes with two batteries out of the box and of course once those are out we need a handy dandy tool to open them also known as this rainbow knife I got from Camp Mincy in Pennsylvania very nice 
I'm just going to stab. Alternatively, you could use any other AA batteries you wish. Now, once those are opened, we are going to close our tool. And put the batteries, and we're going to put the batteries in the controllers. So, it may be unclear at first how exactly you do this but if you look very closely there is a little black slider here so if you press down on that then you can actually slide it out and you have room for a battery it'll say how you want to put it so we're going to put this in like that just like this and of course we're going to close back up it's magnetic which is awesome and of course with the other controller as well Push, slide down. Try that again. Push, slide down. It's nice magnetic grip. This one is also having the plus side down. And we put it back on, of course. Once we have inserted our batteries, we're going to continue. And my controllers are already paired, but you'll most likely have to go through some setup if they are not. We're going to continue again, and of course we update the firmware once more for our controllers. And once our controllers have been paired, we are going to continue. And you'll have a video to play. And once it is done, you'll be able to click the next button. It's just explaining how you should be safe, because safety is very important. Always keep a safe play area to avoid getting hurt. We're going to set a boundary that lets you know where your play space is. And of course, you shouldn't be too young, but who cares? Some people might, some people might not. And of course, be sure to use the appropriate content. If something is too mature for you, then just ignore it. And from there, we press next. Health and safety. You acknowledge everything. And we're going to clear our play area, which I have already done in advance. We're going to continue. And from there, we are going to follow the directions. This is how you put on your controllers and your headset. The controllers have a wrist strap, and you can tighten the halo around your wrist. So from here, you are going to go into VR and continue the setup from there. So from here, you are going to go into VR and continue the setup from there. So from here, once you're on your Rift, you should be asked a few questions, and then you're going to be asked to set up your Guardian. Your Guardian is basically the wall around your Rift, and so if you go near it or past it, then it will alert you. So, for example, right now, we're going to continue. Now first, we're going to set the floor level. We're going to go down here, we're going to place our controller right on the floor, and that's where the ground level is going to be set. We're going to continue. Now we're going to draw out our area. Now this can be however big you want it to be, but for me, I usually, usually want to go a little bit past where I actually want it to be. So I'm going to start back here, draw around. I'm going to keep holding down the trigger until my lines connect. And now I have this nice little cube. Now I continue. Now your guardian is set. Now what's going to happen is if you get close to your boundaries, it's going to start doing this, even in your game. So, we're going to finish. And now, for me, this is just my settings. But, for you, your home screen should start off a little something like this, or even like this. Now, this is your Oculus Home. This is where you can access all your games, all your apps, so much more. You have Explore, which is this. You get to look at games and such. You have your library, which is all the games you have. Store, you can buy games. Social, you can have basically an oculus social media there's so much to it there's settings you can even go to your own virtual desktop and it's pretty neat this is how i'm recording so yeah that is how you set up your oculus rift s unfortunately that is all i can do for you today if you have any questions please put them in the comments down below also please be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did like it. Thank you all so much for watching, 
and I will see you all later. Goodbye.